Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to learn just how simple it is to file your 1099 miscellaneous forms using the Atrix eFile service. This is what you would see once your application is open within your host software. Simply select the 2016 1099 miscellaneous form, check to make sure that the annual period is correct, and click display. You will then begin a short wizard which will allow us to identify the type of filer you have and the data that will be contained within this filing. You do have the option of taking a test drive at any time during the year. You can choose the first 25 entries or all of your entries for your 1099s. In this case, we have selected to go ahead and start processing. You will be asked to verify that the EIN you are filing for is correct. You'll be asked to verify your company information. This is the information that will appear on the paper forms that are delivered to your vendors. You must identify yourself as a third party tax filer or that you're filing for your own company. You will then be able to verify all of your state ID numbers for the individuals that you are filing for. In the case of Pennsylvania Act 32, there's additional information needed the TCA you wish to file for, and the remittance TCD. You'll need to indicate whether or not you have any vendors or employees who are willing to accept an electronic delivery only. This means they receive no paper copy, and this must be authorized by the vendor or the individual. You can choose how to truncate Social Security numbers or EINs by simply selecting the truncation method. If you have more than one database for the EIN you are filing, you must indicate that now. If you have more than one, you will file them separately, and at the end of the process, you will be asked to merge those files together, since the federal government only receives a single file. Once the short wizard has been complete, the data for your 1099s will be loaded in our grid. We call it a grid. It looks just like an Excel spreadsheet and operates very similarly. The first thing you'll need to verify is the taxpayer's identification numbers, or 10. Those are highlighted in blue. Once you've completed that process, you would simply click Next. <clears throat> you'll then be asked to identify which of the 10 numbers are in fact FEIN numbers, simply by checking the box that is appropriate. You then have the opportunity to verify all addresses for businesses and or single individuals for which you are filing for. You will then move to the right side of the form and identify all income boxes. You'll see that there are a number of different headers, non-employee compensation, uh, payments, uh, substitute payments in lieu of dividends or event interest, direct sales, crop insurance. These are all headers that are required by the federal government. Once you've completed that verification, again you click Next, and then you need to verify the states for which you are filing. You see them listed here again, highlighted in the blue field. And the final step, of course, is to identify the amount of state income that is withheld. <clears throat> the amounts are listed under the appropriate state heading. Once that is complete, all error checking has now taken place, and the totals have been acceptable. You simply select what service level you desire. Certainly, the complete 1099 e-file service is the best value. For that, we print and mail recipient copies. We host them online for an immediate access. We will file the e-1099s for recipients who have selected electronic only. File all federal 1099s and the 1096 and file all applicable state 1099s and any reconciliation forms required. We do this all for $1.99 an employee and $0.99 cents an employee for those who have chosen electronic delivery. You have the option of purchasing a hard copy which you can store off-site or have in your office as backup. This is now a list of the states that we will be filing for. You can select one or all of these states. 
And normally, you would file for any state that has a requirement. Just to speed things along, I'm going to go ahead and just select the first item. This is now a task list of everything that Atrix will do for you. We'll e-file your federal 1099 miss, your federal 1096, the Connecticut 1099 miss, and the Connecticut reconciliation form. We will also then allow you to print your pair 1099 miss. Once you have completed all this information, you may now actually view the physical paper forms that would be created and filed. The first, of course, is the Connecticut 1099 miss. You can view them by page for each of the individuals you are filing for and move forward. This is the Connecticut CT 1096 report, the reconciliation form required for the Connecticut filing. You can see that the fields are complete and you are ready to continue. These are now the payer 1099 miscellaneous forms. Again, you can review them by page. Next are the federal 1099 miss. These are the copies that are two up that will be filed with the federal government. And finally, the federal 1096, the cover form or reconciliation form. Once you've reviewed the forms themselves and submit your filing, you'll be asked to enter the credentials that you set up at efile.atrix.com when you enrolled. You'll be asked to verify that you are in fact the preparer and that this is the information that you are filing for. Once the filing, filing is uploaded, you will be presented with a payment summary. In this case, 60 copies at $1.99 for $119.40, a PDF archive which you can store off-site or on, and a small shipping and handling fee for a total of $159.30. You can then select the dates that you want this mailed. If you do not select any, it will in fact be mailed the next business day. You'll be asked for credit card information. You'll be asked to verify your company mailing address where the PDF files can be sent to you. You have now successfully uploaded your file and a quick summary, again, of the company, the form, and the amount. Once you have completed the filing, you will be assigned an AFID number. That's an Atrix Filing Identification Number. This number is very important, as it will be needed on any support call that you made or inquiry that you make to Atrix concerning the filing. By providing this number, we'll be able to find the exact filing that you have made. You'll also receive this in your confirmation email. That's just how simple it is to e-file your 1099s using the Atrix Complete e-file service.